Hi there. Thanks for joining us for Together. I'm Karen Lee. Well, it's that time of year already when students head back to school. Pretty exciting for everyone. So for the next 30 minutes, we're going to share some of the amazing things kids have been up to this summer, from good deeds to learning new skills. The kids in our community have been busy coming together for Colorado, and we are so excited to share these stories with you. Well, three kids in Aurora learned an important lesson this summer. Do the right thing. They were out playing when they found $700 inside of a wallet. As Michael Abeda explains, they never even considered pocketing that cash. Not very many kids our age would give back a wallet full of money. But Haley, Reagan, and Ashley did. We found your wallet outside of your car and we just thought we would give it back to you, so. Now their good deed has gone viral. It's not safe leaving it there in plain sight. What their kind act means to the owner of the wallet. That's next on Together. Well, lemonade stands are a popular sight during the summer months, and there was one in Centennial that was named one of the top 10 in the nation. That's likely because the girls who ran it were raising money for a worthy cause. As Joel Hillen explains, they were trading lemonade for water. Lemons, water, and of course, sugar. That's what it takes to make the perfect cup of lemonade. People think it's like um, good and cute. For customers who got the chance to taste a cup, the payoff was much sweeter. That's because this lemonade is raising money for the girls' school. To get a water bottle refill station. How a class assignment inspired these kids to do good in their community. That's coming up on Together. Well, as thousands of Colorado kids go back to school this month, it is important to remember that the students, well, the ones that can't, there are a lot of children with medical conditions who will have to spend their first day of school in the hospital. But as Melissa Garcia shows us, that doesn't mean they should miss out on all the fun. Seventh grader Enola Thompson has type 1 diabetes. An unexpected trip to the emergency room has her anxious she'll miss the first day of school. Because I don't want to miss a lot. And especially the first days. But she doesn't have to worry. That's because Children's Hospital brought the first day of school to her. Doing stuff for kids to bring them joy, especially the ones that go through a lot of pain. I think it helps a lot. The difference this day is making in these patients' lives, that's later on Together. Well, while many students take time to relax over the summer break, others are hard at work. Some take summer jobs while others are busy with internships. A program at Denver Public Schools makes sure that students get exposure to all kinds of career options. Jamie Leary and photojournalist Tom Myers show us how the Career Connect program works. It's a bit slower here in the summer, but right around noon, the usual suspects wander into Montbello Library's Idea Lab. You come here like every day, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So put the last one. Go ahead, click it. Inside, you will also find Navi Essien. She's the Idea Lab intern. When they came to me, they're like, oh, there's an internship at the library. Of course, at first I was like, um. The library didn't seem like a fit at first. Then she saw what she would be doing. It's just like somewhere where ideas could just flow. You could come in here with an empty mind and walk out with handfuls of stuff. From 3D printing to Photoshop, Navi is a teaching assistant for it all. It's one of more than 100 internship options for DPS students if they're willing to do the prep work. It wasn't just us tossed out into the work world. Yeah. We had them teaching us how to do our resumes. We had them teaching us about dress code, teaching us about violations. Navi was paid for the classes and is paid for her six weeks here. She's already learned more than she ever thought and can help anyone with just about any project. Right click it with that one. I feel like me learning it at 14 really, really, really set me up for greatness in the future. That's right, Navi is just 14 years old. She says if she doesn't become a lawyer or a chemist, yeah, yeah, yeah. audio production is her choice. And the lab has that too. It's a lot to juggle, but... This sounds really cheesy, but don't give up. We found this story so interesting. We wanted Jamie Leary to come in and join us today, talk a little bit more about um, all of this program. It's really fascinating. And Navi, she's so poised. She is. And one of the funny things about Navi was I said, why did you want to do all of this work? Because it really is a lot of work for kids. They have to put in some extra right. time. And she said, well, I heard that college and careers, I heard that's hard. <laughs> and I said, yes, it is hard. Um, but this program is free for all DPS students. So 
why not get a jump start and get a little experience uh, yeah. while you can for, for free? Sure, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the impact that it had on her. Um, she just seems like she really jumped in there and enjoyed it. Well, the cool thing about it is it gives her um, the experience just like it would in the workforce. So she mm -hmm. really felt like she was making a contribution. So what she did was she, um, about uh, over 100 companies came in to see these students and meet with them. And they chose students and the students got to choose the companies they wanted. Mm -hmm. So she got to two, choose, narrow down to like three companies and um, pick her favorite career opportunity, the one that matched her personality the best. Mm -hmm. So um, it just gave her the experience and the time to do that and see if that's what she wanted to do. Um, as her career choice. Yeah, this is truly a coming together for Colorado story about mm -hmm. all those businesses that do step in. It's not just one. Right, um, and it's growing every single year. This is something that businesses really want to do, and it obviously looks great for businesses getting these kids on board. The kids make money, um, and the businesses obviously get to make a lifelong impact, uh, which is the most important thing. And I found it interesting that not many people knew uh, that this program existed and that the qualifications are just that you have to be a DPS student. Okay. So that's it. Really great. Yeah. Thank you for highlighting that. Yeah. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks, Jamie. Well, summer vacation wouldn't be the same without riding your bicycle around the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And United Healthcare is coming together to make sure kids stay safe while they're out there riding. Last week, the group donated 100 new bicycle helmets to students at Dora Moore Elementary. It was a fun treat for those kiddos who got the chance to customize their helmets with stickers and decals. And more importantly, we're here to make sure that kids uh, exercise, but exercise right using helmets. And we've donated uh, 100 helmets so that these kids can decorate them. More importantly, so that they can wear them when they're exercising. Oh, besides those helmets, United Healthcare also donated $1,000 to the YMCA of Denver. Well, we could all learn a thing or two from this next group of friends from Aurora. They certainly made their parents proud this summer. They found a wallet full of cash and they returned it to the owner. The entire good deed was caught on camera. As Michael Abeda explains, the kids did not hesitate to do the right thing. Gracia. Oh. <laughs> Haley Winky and her brother Reagan and friend Ashley Dayton were doing what some kids do on a hot summer day in Aurora. Visiting their local park to cool off at the splash pad. We were there for about an hour and a half, and then we were heading back when we saw it. As they rode their bikes back home, they spotted something sitting underneath a car. Well, it was like a black wallet, so like it, and it was obvious because it was like right under the car. So they decided to go to the front door of the house and give it back. Someone else could take it, and it, it's not safe leaving it there in plain sight. Hi. We can't answer the door right now. What they didn't expect was that their good deed was being recorded. We freaked out. We found your wallet outside of your car and we just thought we would give it back to you. So I don't know. I'm going to put it over here so no one takes any money. Haley, Ashley and Reagan know they were doing the right thing, but are having a hard time understanding why everyone thinks it's such a big deal. Still, they admit that things could have gone much differently if they hadn't seen the wallet. Not very many kids our age would give back a wallet full of money. Ah, but those kids did. Thanks to technology, the owner of that wallet was able to track the kids down and thank them himself. He says he's very grateful and happy to have his wallet back and agrees if these kids hadn't have found it, he's fairly certain that cash would have been long gone. Well, while kids head back to the classrooms, the Broncos head into practice, but not before they do some good deeds of their own. How they're making sure some school kids have what they need to succeed. Broncos players are coming together for Colorado kiddos. They took part in the third annual Stuff for Students school supply drive at a King Supers in Parker. 25 members of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Metro Denver got the chance to shop with the players. The experience, though, was personal for Broncos rookie Cortland Sutton. He remembers going to his local Boys and Girls Club as a kid. We've all known those, those kids who didn't have all the school supplies, and, and you can kind of feel the vibe that they felt like they weren't prepared and it, they, it kind of hurt their confidence a little bit. So to be able to help kids, you know, get the school spots they need so they can go into school year with confidence is awesome. Fans can also support this drive. There's still time. 
All you have to do is purchase a Stuff for Students donation box at any Front Range King Supers, and you'll find those as soon as you walk in there because I already spotted one. All right, Lauren Whitney is with us now. We want to showcase some of these great back to school pictures. It's one of my favorite times of the year when all, you see all the kids dressed up for school. I know, they got their fresh outfit on, they are ready to their go. New backpacks. I know, I live by a school and just seeing all the little kids scurrying. It was so cute, cute. over the past couple of days. So take a look at this. This is Connor and Avery Frank, seventh grader with his big sister who is a sophomore. Aww. A uh, great first day of school picture there. And taking a look here, we have Ava and Ariana. They go to Cimarron Middle School and great first back to, uh, first day back to school outfits on with their backpacks all ready to go. And they just look so happy to be going together to school as sisters. And we have one last picture here. This is Cameron. She lives up in Fort Collins on her first day of school. She looks pretty happy about it. And uh, your daughter went back to school too. It's her first week. How's she doing I so know, far? I great. You know, she hasn't fallen asleep in the middle of the day, which is <laughs> what I thought would probably happen. So pretty good so far. Awesome. That's great teacher great. and good class. I'm excited for her. Wonderful. Yeah, should be fun. Mm -hmm. Well, please send us your photos too. We want to see you and your family enjoying all the wonderful things that Colorado has to offer. You can send us an email at togetherforcolorado at cbs.com or post it on social media using the hashtag for Colorado. And we'll be sure to share it on this show. An 11 year old girl is showing everyone what it truly means to come together for Colorado. She spent her summer raising money to help kids less fortunate than her how she's making a difference in hundreds of students' lives. It's really hard to like do all of it and you get to see it kind of pay off. Coming up on this week's Together for Colorado calendar, on Wednesday it is the Cobain Colorado Women's Open. Watch some of the best golfers in the country at the Green Valley Ranch Golf Club. Saturday, ride through beautiful Boulder as part of Venus de Miles' money raised will support greenhouse scholars, which helps low-income students become successful leaders. On Sunday, head to the Affordable Arts Festival. It's at Arapahoe Community College. Everything for sale is priced at $100 or less. So many great things to do, all for a good cause. To learn more on these and other events, visit the Together for Colorado page at cbsdenver.com. So how does a four-day school week sound to you? Well, students in the Brighton 27J district are getting used to that new schedule this year. The district switched to a four-day school week, giving students a longer weekend with their family and their Mondays off, though every other day will be a little longer to make up for it. The district voted last year to switch the schedule in hopes that the change will attract more teachers. Well, reading opens a window up to the world, and for a group of young girls in Centennial, a book they read in their third grade class made a powerful impact and inspired them to come together to raise money for their school. Joel Hillen and photojournalist Robert Sanchez explain how they're trading lemonade for water. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Customer after customer came to get lemonade from these remarkable young girls. The money going to a good cause. To get a water bottle refill station. The girls drew inspiration from the book The Lemonade War by Jacqueline Davies, which they read in their third grade class last year. The book is about kids who have a lemonade stand to raise money for their school. Their principal suggested money raised from the lemonade stand could go to bringing a water bottle filling station to the school. You can just keep using the same water bottle, not having to get another one and another one. So using their charm. People think it's like um, good and cute that kids are trying to sell lemonade to buy something for our school. Okay. And a secret ingredient. Sugar. They raised nearly $1,200 in cash. Add to that the $400 they raised from the first lemonade stand and $500 from the folks at Nextdoor who sponsored this one. And it looks like the girls of Mark Twain will bring not just one, but two water bottle filling stations to the school. The girls have learned that it's not about them. It's about just something so small as a lemonade stand can really make a difference. The best part for Tessa was coming together to make a difference. That I'm with all my friends and we're doing it for the school. Thank you. Oh, everybody will enjoy it this year. Well, no kid wants to spend their first day of school in the hospital. But sadly, it's the reality for many kids in Colorado. Thankfully, though, there are people coming together to make their stay a little more bearable. It's really, really wonderful when she gets to have a normal experience. She gets a normal day. Well, you can catch the latest episodes of Together as well as your favorite Together for Colorado stories anytime at CBSDenver.com.
Well, not everyone can physically go back to school this month. There are a lot of Colorado children who are battling serious illnesses and are simply too sick to go to class. Well, Children's Hospital didn't want them to miss out on all the excitement of the first day of school. So community members came together to help the hospital throw its own celebration. Melissa Garcia and photojournalist Eric Bloomer take us there. Being sick in the hospital just got a little more bearable for hundreds of kids at Children's Hospital Colorado. We have to check her heart. Five-year-old Harley Henning is homebound and here at least twice a week for her connective tissue disease. It's really, really wonderful when she gets to have a normal experience. She gets a normal day. Hospital Partners Tuesday donated 200 teddies to children in treatment. I like to read a lot of books. Seventh grader Enola Thompson has type 1 diabetes. Ketoacidosis has had her in the hospital since Saturday, and now she may miss her first day of school. It's really hard for her. She's, this is her second year with, her third year going to school with diabetes. And unfortunately, we spend a lot of time away from the classroom. Complications from her condition mean she spends a lot of time in here. Today, she's picking out books donated by Douglas County Libraries. Oh, it's absolutely awesome. It means so much to us to give her the chance to still read, uh, be able to do something and help pass that time. I think it helps a lot. It helps when you don't know how many days you'll be away from the classroom. I'm thinking I'll probably be out maybe tomorrow, but hopefully, but I don't know. Hopefully she's back now. An 11 year old girl spent her summer making sure the kids are ready for the first day of school. Instead of worrying about herself, she's been busy helping students that she's never ever met. Hannah Kudnick held a drive to raise money for backpacks and boy did the community come together to help her out. She ended up raising more than $3,000. Hannah used that money to fill 300 backpacks with school supplies. And this week she donated them to Jewish Family Service who gave them to children who really needed them. With Hannah's help, we are sure those kids will have a great first day of school. Well, a generous donation will help kids look great this school year. The Assistance League of Greeley donated hundreds of school uniforms to Greeley Evans School District 6. These photos show the staff. They're sorting through all of those boxes and look at those smiles. The district says the donations mean more than just having the right outfit. It shows these kids who get them that people really care about them, that we're in this together. So let me know how people are coming together for Colorado where you live. Email me directly or post your story ideas and pictures to social media using the hashtag for Colorado. I look forward to hearing from you. And thank you so much for joining us on this special back to school edition of Together. I wish you and your family a wonderful, safe and successful school year. I'll see you back here next week with even more stories of how people are coming together to make our state an even better place to live. Until then, here's a view of kids enjoying the last splash of the summer. Photojournalist Tom Meyer shows us all the fun that's happening at the Centennial Center Park.